I'm off to space with the junkies. In life, sometimes you can feel as though you're prepared so hard for something. So first person shooters is a huge genre, so why not bring that to the Oculus Rift? That's exactly what Ubisoft did with Space Junkies. I jumped in this week with Space Junkies on my Oculus, found myself in a first person outer space shooting arena, battling up against three people. Nope, two people, because there's supposed to be a lobby of four, which means I'm supposed to have three of the people to shoot at, but I only found two. Why? Two people. No one else seemed to be playing. I couldn't get on. I went for a one versus one mode, jumped in quick no play, battle up, kind of got my feet wet, understanding how the premise of the game works. And no matter how Pretty simple to be honest, failure, grab a gun, shoot the guy. Pick yourself up. Pretty simple, but you're in you outer space. Harder. And the you world that of course Ubisoft makes straighter. is pretty cool. Couple of That's different areas you can battle the layout, and the way you circle around and you duck underneath. Movement is actually really, really fluid. And I'm a big guy when it comes to motion sickness, and we'll get to that in a second. But motion sickness here wasn't all that bad. I was able to get in for a couple rounds without feeling that little woozy, that queasiness that a lot of people experience. Space Junkies concept is really simple. Go out in outer space, face against other people, shoot them, survive, get health packs, shields, and that's it. That's kind of all you do. And your leveling up system doesn't really mean squat because you're just going from different cosmetics. Upgrading isn't really in existence here because you're only changing out your suits, your weapon colors, this, that, the other. Nothing here is really why would you want to go to the next level. It's just you kind of hang out, you got a bunch of buddies, goof around, have a good time. The game is solid, but I found the lack of progression really deteriorated me from coming back and wanting to do more when all I can do is customize more gear. Now I'm player red. Uh, I'm first for now. Let's uh, we'll take it. Actually, this is a decent gun. Not a bad start. Let's see what we can do to take one. I haven't been doing very well lately. All right. It's a shotgun. I don't want a shotty. Let's see if we can find somebody here right off the top. Oh come on! That was a headshot, man. No, you don't. Oh. Ah, I got nailed from behind, that's why. Alright. War at the one guy and get shot from the other. Full lobby, this is kind of nice. You can see that I'm sorry. just a little bit of movement. I kind of get a little bit of a sway going on. But once I start moving, then it feels better. It's kind of a weird motion. Egg gives me a boost of speed. We're going to do a wheel to see what we can do to get a kill here. I don't see anybody. There he is. Where'd he go? Oh, he's getting chased. Somebody find you. Nice. We got red over here. No, I'm red. There's somebody else over here. There's blue. Whoa! Sword. And a cut. Woo, yeah, there we go. Right. Where's the other guy? Here's somebody. Oh, I'm damaged pretty good here. Oh. All right. Just, oh. Well, I said I was damaged pretty good. <laughs> okay. That's not bad. We got a couple kills. I'll take that. Let's see where we start. Let's grab. Nice. The dual wielding thing is really, it feels pretty good, actually. 150 rounds in there. I don't know how well this captured it, but. All right. Let's see. Nice, let's grab this one while we're here. Keep an eye out. Maybe we'll grab some armor. Come on, you should be dead. There we go. Got some health. We're gonna get underneath here. Ooh, where's that? No. I'm being chased. I don't like it. Don't like that feeling. Alright. Okay. Whoa, no. Ah, well, we got. Oh, we got a couple more kills. It's alright. Okay. Tied for first, huh? 
man. Ooh. Let's light him up. This one's only got 120 rounds, but shh, it's good. I like this gun. Gatling gun. All right. Let's see how. Let's see where everybody's hiding. Go this way. Oh. The audio in this game is actually decent. It, you can hear people. Oh. Oh, okay, there's green. Oh, he's getting shot. Woo, get a shot too. Man, that's all right. Okay, I still, man, like you just can't sneak ahead. Hey, we got our gun back. All right, let's get back in the fight, come on. Ah, oh, crap. I died four times, that guy's only died twice. All right then, let's see. All right, we're getting there. We have a minute left in the round. Ooh, we got all kinds of gunplay going on over here. Let's see if we can join in the fight. This guy's like hovering around the outside here. I know, I'm back in, I'm back in. All right, we'll grab some armor while we're here. I can hear somebody. Sorry, let's apologize. Why would you apologize? There's yellow over here. Crap. Oh. No! No, no, no! Where is he? There he is. Yeah! We did it! Okay, that was close. That's intense. It's a draw. That last kill, I think, just tied me for first. All right, so that was Space Junkies. Not a bad take on a game. Pretty simple, pretty good, but overall, really lacking. No incentive to really come back and customize your characters because that's all you get to do. In a lobby that isn't even full, which is a little disappointing. Ubisoft said they're gonna bring more maps, different things to the game, different modes, all that stuff. So something to look forward to, but as of right now, there really isn't that much to do, especially when your lobby is never full. Intensity scale now is gonna be something that's new in our reviews for VR because motion sickness is a huge factor when it comes to VR, especially in Space Junkies. Space Junkies isn't a puzzle solver. You're not standing still, you're constantly on the move. You stand still, you're dead. It's not how it works here, it's not what you wanna do. So you wanna be constantly moving, whether you're using your jetpack or just floating through space, it works pretty good, it's decent. Actually, I found it pretty fluid. Turning is still an aww, oh, kind of that oh, the problem. You, they can't quite figure out how to shift you without physically moving. I can't just keep turning around because I just get tangled up in my Oculus cords. Kind of sucks. But you flick your stick and it just moves in quarters. It helps. It works. It solves the problem for now. Just not quite good enough. Overall, for the intensity of the VR experience, I would rate this at an intermediate. It's not too bad, but again, some people who are super sensitive might get that. I was only able to play about two to three rounds of the most, and then have to get out because I just can't do it anymore. So it's not like you're gonna be in Space Junkies for a long time, especially if you're sensitive like I am. Overall, Space Junkies from Ubisoft for me is getting a 6.5. Space Junkies fluid motion controls on the Oculus is great, allowing for more game time without getting motion sickness. However, having only cosmetics for progression in the game leaves you wanting a bigger reason to come back and play Space Junkies.